So guys, good afternoon and welcome. So today, so this afternoon, our uh, topic is about World Wide Web or the WWE. Uh, what is a World Wide Web? So the World Wide Web is a way of exchanging information between computers on the internet. So the World Wide Web is a network of pages of uh, images, text, and sounds on the internet which can be viewed using a browser. So many people think that the internet and the World Wide Web are the same thing. While they are closely linked, they are very different systems. The internet is a huge network of computers all connected together. So the World Wide Web or WW or Web or for short is a collection of web pages found on this network of computers. Your web browser uses internet to access um, the web. So the World Wide Web, okay. so the World Wide Web uh, consists of collection of electronics documents. Um, then a website is a collection of related web pages and associated items. And web server is a computer that delivers requested web pages to your computer. Web 2.0 to refers to the website that provides means to user to interact. So a website again is a collection of publicly accessible interlinked web pages that share a single domain name. And website can be created and maintained by individual group, business or organization to serve a variety of purposes. Together all publicly um, accessible websites or the World Wide Web. Although it's sometimes called web page, this definition is wrong since a website consists of several web pages. A website is also known as a web uh, presence or simply a site. So website come nearly endless variety, including educational sites, news sites, uh, forum, social media sites, uh, e-commerce sites, and so on. So the pages within the website are usually mix of text and other media that's it, there are no rules dictating uh, a form of a website. Uh, again, the web page is a single document on the internet. For example, uh, like uh, writingexplain.org. Okay, so a website is a collection of many web pages uh, all linked together. <clears throat> then a web server is a computer that runs websites in a computer program that distributes web page as they are uh, requ uh, requisition. So the basic objective of the web server is to store, process, and deliver web pages to the user. So this intercommunication is done by using hypertext uh, transfer protocol or HTTP. These web pages are mostly static uh, content that includes HTML documents, images, style, um, sheet. So apart from HTTP, a web server also support SMTP or the simple name transfer protocol and FTP, the file transfer protocol for emailing and for file transfer and storage. So the main job of the web server is to display the website content if a web server is not exposed to the public and used internally. So then it is called a intranet server. When anyone requests for a website by adding URL or web address on a web browser, like Chrome or Firefox um, address bar, the browser sends a request to the internet for viewing the corresponding web page for that address. Okay. A web server is requested um, to present a content website to the user browser. All websites on the internet have unique identifier in terms of IP address. This internet protocol address is used to communicate between different servers across the internet. This uh, example is uh, most common is Apache server. Okay, it's the uh, most common web server available in the market. Next, the Web 2.0 technology. Uh, web 2.0 is a term used to describe the variety of websites and applications that allows anyone to create and share online information 
or material they have created. The element of the technology is that it allows people to create, share, collaborate, and communicate. So Web 2.0 differs from other types of websites as it does not require any web design or publishing skills to participate, making it easy for people to create, publish, or communicate their work to the world. But the nature of this technology makes it an easy and popular way to communicate information to either select group or people or to much wider audience. Okay. In 1989, 1990, Tim Berners-Lee invents the World Wide Web at CERN, published in 1992, means for transferring text and graphics simultaneously. It's a text markup language, not invented by Berner Berners. Uh, it's uh, simple and easy to use. Okay. So, si Tim Berners-Lee is a British scientist that invented the World Wide Web or the WWW in 1989 while working at CERN. So the web was originally conceived and developed to meet the demand for automated information sharing between scientists in the university and institute around the world. Timber has the picture of CERN. Uh, but rather for all point of extensive community, community that includes more than 17,000 scientists from 100 countries. Although they typically spend some time at CERN site, Scientists usually work at university and national laboratories in their home countries. Reliable communication tools are therefore essential. So the basic idea of the WW was to merge and evolving technology of computer data networks and hypertext into a powerful and easy to use global information system. So we had um, Uh, building blocks. So WW components. So structure component. So these are the building blocks. So we have first the client browser. The client browser is a client server model. The browser is the client runs on the computer or mobile device that contacts a web server and requests information. The web server sends information back to the browser, which then displays the result to the internet uh, enabled device. Mm, we also have the server. So in computing, a server is a piece of computer or hardware um, that provides a functionality for the programs or device called clients. The typical server are database server, file server, mail ser server, main server, web server, game server, and application server. Next we have the hash. So catch. So catch is a uh, reserved storage location that collects temporary data to help website mm, browser apps load faster, whether it's computer, laptop, or phone web browser or app. So you will find some variety of catch. A catch makes easy to quickly retrieve data, which is turn helps the device run faster. Next, we have the internet. So internet is a global network of computer that works much like uh, the postal system, only a sub-second speed, just as the postal service enables people to send one another uh, envelopes containing messages. The internet uh, enables computer to send one another small packet of data. Then next, we have the semantic components. So um, semantic web is a extension of the World Wide Web through standards set by the World Wide Web Consortium. So the term was coined by the Berners Lee for web of data that can be processed by machine. Uh, that's in which much of the meaning is machine is reliable. Uh, first, we have the HTTP or the Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Um, HTTP is a protocol which allowed uh, the fetching of resources such as HTML documents. It is the foundation of any data exchange on the web and it's a client server protocol, which means requests are initiated by the recipient, usually the web browser. Next, we have the hypertext markup language or HTML. 
it is the set of markup symbol or codes inserted into a file intended for the display on the internet. The markup tells the web browser how to display a web page, words, and images. Next, we have the extensible markup language or the XML. It's a simple, very flexible text format derived from the SGML, originally designed to meet the challenge of large-scale electronic publishing. XML is also playing an increasingly important role in the exchange of the worldwide a variety of data on the web. Mm. Next, we have the URL or the Uniform Resource Locator are the website address you enter in the address bar of your browser. They contain domain names such as facebook.com and any directory file that you're trying to open. Uh, the fundamental concept of the World Wide Web. The hypertext concept. So hypertext is the text which contains links to other texts. So the term was coined by Ted Nelson in 1965. The hypermedia concept is a term used to hypertext which is not constrained to a via text, it, it can include graphics, video, and sound. Mm. Hypertext, uh, uh, which contains links to other texts, they was coined by Ted Nelson in 1995, as I said. The hypermedia is an extension term hypertext. It's a nonlinear medium of information. It includes graphic, uh, audio, video, and plain text, and hyperlink. So this designation contrasts with the broader terms of multimedia, which may include non-iterative linear presentation as well as hypermedia. Hyper, um, next, the browser. So, a web browser is a uh, web browser is a web document and able users to uh, access a web document. A web browser takes you anywhere on the internet. So it retrieves information from other parts of the web and displays it on your desktop or mobile device. The information transfer using hype, the hypertext transfer protocol, which defines how text, in image, and video are transmitted on the web. The common web browser includes Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, uh, Mozilla Firefox, and Apple Safari. Then we have also have um, the web server. Is a program that uh, waits patiently for the web browser to request a web page. The server looks for requested information, retrieve it, and send it to the browser or send an error message if the file is not found. Mm. It's a computer that uh, distributes web page. That's our request. The basic activity of the web server is to store, process, and deliver web page to the users. So this intercommunication is done by using the hypertext protocol. Next, we are again the URL, the uniform resource locator. These are the web addresses, the resource locators addressing them. Also known as the web address, URL is a form of URI and standardized naming convention for addressing documents accessible over the internet and intranet. Okay, example, uh, computershop.com, facebook.com. Okay, URL are the website addresses you enter in the address bar on your browser. They contain the domain name, the site, such as uh, Facebook platform and any directories and files that you're trying to offer. Then how to create a web page. Okay. So two basic steps to require making a web page. First is create an HTML file then upload it, this file or the file to the server. Uh, web page documents can be displayed in a browser, uh, such as Firefox, Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Internet, or Edge, or Apple Safari. It's also uh, called just pages. Website a collection of web pages which can be grouped together and usually connected together in a various way. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. An HTML file is a text file containing small markup tags. The markup tags tell the web browser how to display the page. An HTML must have an HTML or HTML file extension. An HTML file can be created using a simple text uh, editor, for example, Notepad. Then we have the um, server. Server retrieves the file. 
example natin yung index.html and send it into, uh, into the browser, the browser receives the file from the server and renders in on your it on your screen. Okay. So creating a web page. So a web page or generate text uh, text by folded with a special notation called hypertext markup language that are interpreted by a web browser program reading the file. Which came first, the internet or the www? The internet came first. Internet and www are two different concepts. Internet is a global computer network made up of a thousand of computer and computer networks. WW is a system that are interlinked via internet. Internet, internet is a global system, interconnected computer network. It's a massive network of networks. These computers communicate with each other using common protocol, the TCP IP or the transmission control protocol, internet protocol. Hmm. The internet, as we said, is a global network of computers that work much like uh, sabi nga, ano, it's a postal system. Okay? Internet is a vast network that connects computers all over the world. Through internet, people can share information and communicate from anywhere with internet connection. Transmission control protocol or uh, internet protocol is a networking protocol that allows two, uh, two computers to communicate. Then the World Wide Web uh, is one of the services that runs on the internet. It's a system of interleaked hypertext document accessed via internet. So it's a way of accessing information. So the World Wide Web, or the WW, commonly known as the web, is an information system where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locator which may be interleaved by hypertext and are accessible over the net. Okay, the difference between the World Wide Web and the Internet. Many people use term Internet and the World Wide Web, but in fact, the two terms are synonyms. The World Internet and the Web are two separate but related things. The Internet is a massive network of networks. It connects millions of computers together globally forming a network in which any computer can communicate with any other computer as long as they both connected to the internet. The World Wide Web or Simply Web is a way of accessing information over the medium of internet. So the web is just a portion of internet, albeit a large portion, but the two terms are synonymous and should not be confused. So the World Wide Web again, short for uh, the World Wide Web or the web, for short, are web pages you see when you're a device and you're online. But the internet is a network or connected computer that the, uh, the web works, as well as the email and files and travel across. The World Wide Web contains the things you see in, uh, on the roads like house and shops. So the web browser. So web browser allow you to access uh, web pages and web 2.0 program. So we have Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Google. So web browser display on the home page. Okay. Home page. Home page is the first page that website display. Mm, web page provide links to other related web page, surfing the web page, downloading process of receiving information, and some web page are designed especially for micro browser, like our mobile phone browser. Okay, so uh, a web page, okay, a home page, sorry, is a web page that serves as the starting point of a website. It is a default web page that loads when you visit a web address. So the goal of a home page is to pick the interest of the visitor and prompt them to delve deeper into the pages of your website. 
okay, so we have the two types. Two types of search tool are search engine and subject directories. So first we have the search engines. Then this one finds information related to a specific topic, while subject directory classify web page in our organized set of categories. A search, search engines is a website through which user can search internet content. Do this user uh, enter the desired search item into the search field. The search engine then looks through the, its index for relevant website and display them in the form of lists. Uh, search engines have to minimize the time required to find information and the amount of information which must be uh, consulted the other techniques for managing information of it. So the most public visible form of search engine is the web search engine which search information on the World Wide Web. Then the subject director directory is an online database of website and online information set up by subject and category. An example of a subject directory is a search tool for cooking and baking. Uh, Search engines define again uh, as application which praises the keywords are used for locating information on internet. And subdirectories define as a website which allow user in finding information by using hierarchy. So why do you use search tool? So this is our example of the why do you use search tool on the web. So some of you I know you're familiar with this uh, search tool like the Google, uh, as.com, Bing, okay, Yahoo. So search engine is helpful in locating uh, such as image, videos, audio, news, map, blogs, people, or businesses. Now we have the types of website. So these are the 13 types of website. Okay, first we have a portal. A portal is a web-based platform that collects information from different sources into a single user interface and present users with the most relevant information for their context. Over time, a simple web portals have evolved into a portal platforms that support digital customer experience initiative. Next, uh, we have the news media. So the purpose of the news media is to broadcast similar. Yeah, okay, so information a variety of mediums to reach the most people and satisfies their need for information through surveillance and force making profit from it as well next we have the information website information websites are those sites which are created in order to provide customized and branded resource for potential and active customer members investor and so forth so this website website are usually content and design driven Next, we have the website marketing. So means promoting a business website in order to bring in more visitors. These visitors should be uh, people are like uh, purchase the business service or products. More visitor means more opportunities to try to convince potential customers. Then we have blog. Blog is a discussion. Uh, or information website published on the World Wide Web consisting of this clip often informal diary style um, text entries. Posts are, posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order so that the most recent posts appear first at the top of the web page. We also have the wiki. Wiki is a website that allows users to add and update contents on the website using their own web browser. Wiki is an app being created mainly by collaborative effort of the site visitor. A great example of large wiki in a Wikipedia, a free encyclopedia in many languages that anyone can edit. We also have the social uh, networking service, um, also known as social networking site or social media. It's an online platform which people use to build social network or social relationship with other people who share similar, similar personal or career interests, activities, background, or real life connection. Then we also have the educational website. 
it can include websites that have games, video or topics related resources that act as a tool to enhance learning and supplement classroom teaching. This website helps makes the process of learning entertaining and attractive to the students, especially in today's age. We also have the entertainment. So online social entertainment blends entertainment interactive functionality and content including live video streaming, video chat, communication, and multiplayer. We also have the adv advocacy webpage. It's one of sponsored by organizing attempting to influence public opinion. The web address of the page frequently carries organization domain designation. Um, we also have the um, web apps. Web apps uh, or web application are website with functionality and interactive elements. Jimmy, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, a web applications, computer software, access to web browser, often connected to a database to provide an interactive experience specific to individuals while using it. We also have the content aggregator. It's an entity that pulls together web contents application or both from online resources for reuse or resales. It's, it's a means of curating content. So two types of content aggregator exist, those who have rather news and other materials from various resources of publication of their own website. Lastly, we have the personal web pages. Our worldwide web pages created by individuals contain content of personal nature rather than content of pertaining to a company, organization, or institution. Many personal pages only include information or interest of friends and family of the author. So the World Wide Web, so web publishing is the development and maintenance of the web page. Now at first we have the planning, plan a website. Planning is the process of choosing among the compelling opportunities for communication so that you can see it overall goal for a web page. You will need to define your web uh, intended audience, um, formulate a statement of your web purposes and objectives and, uh, and gather the maintained domain information to support your website. Next, we have the analysis. The analysis is the process of gathering and comparing information about the web. It is operation and used in order to improve web overall quality and to identify problem idea uh, areas. Then we have to create the website, then deploy the website. So deployment and development means to push changes or update from deployment environment to another. When setting up a website, you will always have a live website, which is called the live environment or the production environment. And lastly, we have the maintain a website. Uh, website maintenance is an of regularly checking your website for issues and mistakes and keeping it updated and relevant. This should be done on a consistent basis in order to keep your website healthy and encourage uh, continued traffic growth and strengthen your SEO and Google rankings. Okay, our summary today. The WW is a way of sending information. Tim Berners to invent the World Wide Web at CERN. WW is constructed using HTML. There are basic steps to create web pages. Internet and WW are the two different concepts. WW is one of the services that runs on the internet. Okay, so guys, so. That's it for today.